Crafty Friends Carrie here with part two of the scrap bin collaboration. So for this project, I'm going to be taking some book pages from my stash and I am going to use some white craft pa um, paint to make these where you can write on them. And I just simply put a little down and scrape it across the book page. You can do this with gesso but um, my craft paint was handy, so that's what I used. And then here's some dry ones, so you can kind of see what they look like when they're dry. The white paint uh, will make it where you can write on them. And I'm going to do a few uh, pages here, and then we will um, move on to putting together the book. Anyway, you just kind of scrape the paint, and if you have excess, what I do is um, scrape it off onto another page and then that way I can just continue using the paint instead of having to get rid of excess paint. Okay, I'm going to set this aside to dry and here's one that's already dry and I'm just going to even that one out just a little bit because it was uh, so uneven. And I'm going to take my pages and I'm going to fold them in preparation for making my book. These are going to be some cute little journals that you could give as gifts or use for yourself. Um, so this is going to be a really simple way to make a junk journal. This is good for beginners. And it's good for people who have experience making them that um, have a lot of scraps laying around like I do. Which is the point of the Scrap Bin Collaboration, which is hosted here on YouTube by Mandy's Place. And I'll have her link along with the links of the other participants in the collaboration below. This paper, I took two pieces and I used tape and stuck them together to make a page for the book. There's another piece I'm going to use. And then these two pages, I like them, but I, want, I need to put them together. This is going to be my cover. So I'm going to go ahead and do the cover now. I'm not using a scoreboard or anything. I'm just using the page as a measure. And it's going to fold it over it down. I'm going to trim off this excess here. I want to leave enough for a pocket, but I don't need quite that much. So I'm going to take off this excess. And then there again, I'm using the book page to help me measure where to fold the pocket. And I'll just crease it down. And I'm going to take my tape runner. I'm just going to run some tape in the middle. And then I'm going to do it on the edges. And just fold it up. I use my bone folder to crease everything down again just to get nice good creases and make sure the tape is stuck in. And I'll lay the book cover to the side while I get ready to do the rest of this. Okay, so these two pages, I'm going to put them together. What I'm going to do is meet them up here in the middle. I'm just using the lines on my thing to have them straight. And that's a piece of paper that I put some Tape run around. And then I'm just going to take that, stick it down, smooth it down, and then I'm just going to fold these little edges up here. And then I'm going to take this, fold it, and um, crease it. Okay, 
and then that's going to be good for a page in the book. I'm just kind of getting my pages together here. Now I'll start putting them together. And this is more from my... And I kind of like to rotate them. Now it's kind of deciding what kind of order I want them in. You can really put these together however you like them. Okay. I think I have enough pages. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to make some tags to go in my book now using um, some more of my scrap pieces. And here I'm just cutting the corner off and then I'm going to take it, flip it over and hold it on to the other corner so I can get about the same cut on both sides. And I just use my crocodile to punch a hole approximately in the middle. I want to take a piece of this paper here that's our cover paper, and I'm going to use it and make it into a tag as well. And same thing. Take the corners and line them up. And there. And then I have these little um, cut aparts from a paper pad. That were in my scrap bin. And I kind of like them, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these apart and I'll use them in the journal somewhere. Okay. Now I'm just going to add some ribbon to my um, tags here. Sorry, it's out of frame. Okay, so I'm just going to tie these. And kind of set them aside. Okay. Kind of placing my cover on now. And now I'm going to look where I'm going to put some tuck spots. Okay. So I'm going to take some things and I'm going to make some little tuck spots in here and make some tags. I'll tie off some, some ribbon on these tags. Just kind of getting together what I want to put into the journal. Okay. I'm going to take this little piece of paper here. There again, sorry, I'm out of frame. And stick it down for a tuck spot. And I'm just kind of sticking some things into the tuck spots that I made. And sorry, I am out of frame. Okay, I'm going to make another tuck spot here. Put those little cards there. here, which I'm out of frame for, so you guys can't see. Okay, now I'm putting this together. 
And what I'm doing is just running a bead of glue and then pushing the page into the uh, fold. And I'm just using tacky glue. And this is one reason why I said this is like really easy. If you're new, there's no sewing here. I'm just running a bead of glue down right on the fold and then pushing it in. Making sure it's making good contact. I'm going to um, do a few of the pages here, kind of separate, so that it's not getting too bulky um, when trying to make sure everything is, is making good contact. And once I have this set put together, then I'm going to put the two of them together, which I'll show you in a minute. glue on here. Okay. I had this little dragonfly that was laying on my um, craft table, so I decided I was going to put some glue on and put it there in the corner. kind of goes with the collar. And I have some organza ribbon here. And I want it to wrap around a couple of times. So that's what I've done here. And I was going to use glue, and then I decided to use tape. Um, Double-sided tape there with my tape writer. So I did the back cover first. And then I want to do... It's me fidgeting a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do the front, and then I'm going to tie this off in a bow. And that will complete this little journal here. Now, I've already made some other ones, so I'm bringing those out to show you. So here's one that I made that's more of a little vintage style with vintage -y. Um Okay, the one I just made, and then here's this one that I made. So all together I have three of these really cute little journals. And I've kind of closed each one just a little bit different. This one I used some grommets and ribbon and then of course the one we just made together. And there's a quick little flip through. go. Thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I am going to do a drawing and give away the three journals I made during this video. If you'd like a chance to win one, leave a comment below. Tell me which of the journals you like the best and whether you plan to try um, this journal making technique yourself. I will do a drawing next week when I do the third episode of this collaboration. Again, thank you for watching and have a great crafty day.